All right, guys, so the last feature I want to show you here is in Lightroom, they now have facial recognition. Now, facial recognition is not necessarily anything new. In fact, there's a lot of apps out there that will start doing it for us on our phones, but um, it is convenient and nice to have it in Lightroom. And basically the way it works is when you have your catalog open, you can come down here and you can click on this little face icon down at the bottom. Now the face on icon, when I click on it, the first box that will pop up is actually gonna look a little bit different than mine that came up here. It's gonna say, would you like to run facial recognition on the entire catalog or just on certain images? And so if you choose the entire catalog, of course, depending on the size of your catalog, it could take a while. Um, if you choose the certain images, it's basically gonna choose the images along your film strip on the bottom there. So that's entirely up to you. You can always run facial recognition later on the rest of the catalog if you'd like, um, but uh, I, one thing I will tell you where I used it was I have a hard drive with the Lightroom catalog on it of all the images of my family. And I let Lightroom go ahead and run facial recognition for a few days and basically pick out all the images and, and try to recognize the faces. Now it's gonna take me a little bit of time because let me show you why here. Lightroom's not perfect, but it does a pretty decent job. So basically in here, what it's done is it's gone through this catalog and it says, hey Trevor, it says there's three images that look very similar and so it's grouping them together and if I look at them sure enough it's the same person however it doesn't know the name yet so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in oh this is Heather okay and then it goes perfect and now uh, for these next images it will kind of help me basically to kind of fill in that blank for me right um, in fact later on the more and more you use this Lightroom gets smarter and smarter so that it actually will start to say is this Heather? Because this looks like Heather, or this looks like Justin, or this looks like Annabelle, or Caitlin, or whoever. And so it'll basically, it'll start to suggest it for you, which is quite nice. Now, there are situations, guys, where it might have maybe looking at two faces here, and it doesn't, you know, like for example, it might be like right in here, and it, it, it tries to pick out a face, but it didn't do a very good job. You can actually come in here right down at the bottom, click this little icon and basically draw where you would like that face to be. So for example, this one right here, this is again, Heather. So let me just type that in there. Now, of course, if for your catalog, I would also include the last name, um, but just for demonstration purposes here, I'm just kind of doing it really fast. So here we got Chelsea and I can say right over here, see this one, it's kind of right in the middle. So it's kind of, I don't know, it looks like maybe it's pointing towards Justin there, I guess. Let's just do Justin. And then let's just tell it because it didn't do a very good job here picking out this one. Let's just draw Chelsea's face over there and, and type that in as well. Now you can see it's not perfect. I imagine that uh, with time, this program is going to get a lot and a lot better. Um, but it has done a pretty decent job. And again, I would encourage you if you haven't done this, uh, pick a catalog that is maybe like you said, your family photos or something that's going to mean something to you. And, and let Lightroom start organizing it. And at this point, I have thousands of images now where, um, you know, I have 500 images of my daughter Annabelle and 500 images of Caitlin, and it's all organized. And it's quite fun. So I, I told my wife, I said, come, you know, one of their birthdays, for example, I can go in there and I can say, hey, I wanna see all the images of Annabelle. And from birth until she's 11 years old, I got all these photos already organized for me because Lightroom uh, intelligently was able to do it. Now. Again, getting started, you are gonna have to help it. You're gonna basically, it's gonna have training wheels of sorts. And so you have to go in there and you have to name some of those images, tell it who it is. And then each time Lightroom sees more and more of these faces that look similar, it will actually pick that up and be able to start helping you uh, to recognize. Ultimately, you do have to confirm it, but it becomes really easy because you just come in here and say, yep, 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 yep. Or you can even select multiple images and say, yes, that's all. Heather or that's all Caitlin or whatever and and it will pick those up so again give it a shot it's a pretty cool feature they've done a great job with it um, I do feel like there are a few weaknesses like I said sometimes it won't necessarily recognize if there's a face in the image or if there's two faces too close together it might kind of put a box over those two faces but I think those are just little things that will be worked out um, in, in future versions and I have a feeling that Lightroom is going to do a, a much much better job with this I don't really use this for weddings. However, I will say that there are there is a situation where I can see myself using it in the future because I've done this in the past 
And that's typically when somebody has passed away uh, from a wedding. Maybe it's a, a, a like a father or brother, someone important in the family. And I have numerous images of that person. I've had family members call me up and ask me and say, hey, Trevor, is there any way you can you can shoot us over these images of this, you know, certain family member. And so it would be nice in those situations to be able to run just a facial recognition on the wedding, basically pick out that person and the Lightroom would tell me, okay, these images look like all of that person. And so pretty cool. Like I said, um, I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm not totally hundred percent satisfied, but I think it's come a long way from, you know, or it will come a long way in the next uh, few versions of Lightroom. So keep an eye on it and start using it because uh, you don't want to be stuck behind trying to learn it later on. So Facial recognition, go check it out.